one, lift and hold, little pulses in the hamstrings and the booty and the squat, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, extend, lower the heels, take a breath, okay, from here, feet are in that parallel position, Big toes aiming straight ahead. It may feel pigeon toed. Check in with them. Just look at them. They will tell you. Take an inhale. Exhale to find your squat. From here, you're just going to shift to one leg and come back through center. That's it. You're just going to shift and come back. You're going to feel the body weight move into that leg, into that quad. You're going to do your very best to keep everything anchored through the big toe, the baby toe, and the heel so that the foot doesn't roll open as you shift. Okay? So it's this little squat, just enough to feel the glutes, to feel the quads. And you shift side to side to go, oh, hey, I feel the body weight responsible for itself on that leg. Okay, one more on each side, shifting. It's very subtle. So it's the kind of work that when you watch it, you go, I don't really know that it's doing anything. And when you're doing it, you're like, oh, I feel it. Come on up. Okay? You have choices. You can continue with what we just did. Squat, shifting, to feel comfortable with all of your body weight going to one leg, and that knee pushing out. If that knee dumps in, no bueno. Okay? So, big toes aiming straight ahead. Find your little squat. Shift to one leg, and then point the other foot. Set it down, shift, maybe you point, okay? And maybe you're just still working the shift, but this is that real balance transfer and strength transfer of like, ooh, now that other leg has to be responsible for the body weight while I do this. It's gonna feel like you're sticking your booty out, for sure. Use all of your unicorn tactics, squeezing down in the armpit, Lifting the elbows up, lifting that belly button up underneath the rib cage, high and tight, and find the sweet spot of accountability. If you're too low, you won't feel it in the leg, and if you're too high, you won't feel it in the legs. You want to feel it in your booty, the back of the legs and the hamstring, and in your quads. Okay, last one like this. Center, come on up. Choices. You can go back to or stick with the shift, okay? You can try or stick with the shift and point, shift and point, or you come with me, you find your squat, you shift, you point, you lift, you lower. Shift, point, lift, and lower. Take it at a speed that works for your body. The goal is never to feel disempowered on the mat. It's to feel very empowered and capable and get into things that you're like, I didn't think I could do that. I didn't think I could do that for so long. <laughs> like the sneak attack. If the cueing and we've built it in good body positioning, it's gonna happen, even if it's tiny. Because we can build on tiny, right? Tiny can always get bigger. Here we go, keep going. Nice shift, point, find your balance, lift. Okay, shifting, pointing, balancing, lifting, keep going. Or if you're shifting, or if you feel like, dude, I gotta go back to the shift, please do. If you just wanna go back to the point, we all take it at our own pace and our own level as we need to do. So then you can start to pick it up for four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one, center and come on up. Okay, from here, X, stretch, cross one leg over the other, inhale the arms up. Exhale, peel and roll down through your spine. Four fold, best that your body will allow. Then shift the body weight back, okay? If you want blocks under your hands, if you want spider fingers, you wanna reach through the back of the knee crease, Pressing the front leg into the back leg for those stretches. Three, two, one. Shift. Switch which leg is in front. You can come all the way up and then peel all the way down. 
or if you can just switch, that's fine. Take an inhale. Exhale. Press back. Okay. Let the head hang. Feel the power and the strength and the helper of that front leg pressing into the back leg for the stretch. For four. Three. Two. And one. Shift. Okay. Bring your feet into parallel. Bend the knees. Peel and roll up through your spine. One vertebra at a time. Head is the last thing to float up. Bring the feet and the legs together. Super tight. Super close. Everything zipped. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, chair pose. Find your sit. Okay, so sit with me. Sit with me. Shift your tailbone under, squeeze the glutes. Shift your body weight back. Can you lift the toes? Squeeze down in the armpit, press through the fingertips. They don't have to touch, just get them as close together as possible. And then try to upright yourself as much as possible in this posture. For five, four, three, two, one. Press up to standing. Cross one leg in front of the other. Forward fold. Shift your body weight back. If you need those blocks nearby, you use them. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then switch which leg is in front. And shift back. Let the head hang. Okay? Using the power and the strength of the front leg to influence and stretch and open the back leg. Four, three, two, and one. Side by side with the legs, bend the knees, peel and roll up through your spine, one vertebra at a time, head is the last thing to come up. Step the feet together, narrow, narrow and tight. Inhale the arms up, palms come as close together as possible. Sit in your chair pose. Shift your body weight back towards your heels. Check it by trying to lift the toes. Okay, squeeze down in the armpit. Just bring the palms as close together as they'll go. That doesn't mean they're gonna touch. We're just trying. And then try to upright yourself more. Proper dining room chair. Lift the belly button up underneath the rib cage. High and tight. Inhaling and exhaling. In and out. In and out. Last breath. In and out. Up to standing. Okay? Take one leg forward, one leg back. It's not on a tightrope. Feet are in parallel. Big toes aiming straight ahead. Give yourself some space in between them. Shift to the hips back. Stick the booty out. Forward fold wherever that ends up in your body. For five, four, three, Two, one. Work the rotation from here. So if you need blocks or if you're here, it's fine. You're gonna externally rotate that back hip, then internally rotate. Externally rotate, feet are in parallel. You are allowing your pelvis to rotate around your femur bones. They will appear to open and close at an angle. Two more times to open and to close and to open and to close. Leave it here. Shift as much body weight towards that front leg as possible. Hello. Four, three, two, one. Try to flat back up. Step together. Take a breath. What we do for one side, we must do for the other. Step forward with the other leg. Big toes aiming straight ahead. Give it some distance, width on the mat if you need it. Shift the hips back. Forward fold wherever your body allows. You're going to hang here for five, four, three, two, and one. Then you're going to externally rotate in that back hip. Internally rotate. Externally rotate. Internally rotate. Okay? Externally rotate, internally rotate. It's a great time to think of your pelvis like a bowl that is upside down on top of your legs, your femur bones, and that you are rolling it forward and then rolling it open like a little hat that tips up to the back 
and down to the front. Two more, open to the back, close to the front, open to the back, close to the front and hang here for five.